Hey y'all, what's good? Sports Live and ATL. David here on this weekend. Super Bowl weekend. Uh, how you guys liking those sleep streams, huh? You like them, right? I know you do. I see the comments. I know you love them. That's why I do them just for you. Because you keep talking about them. So I want to keep providing you that entertainment. Hope you got a nice look at my derriere or, or my burp. I don't know. Hope you enjoy the live streams, the sleep streams, because they are... They are the bomb, so to speak. <laughs> I'm making this video real talk. I'm making this video, uh, my last thoughts on the Super Bowl. Like, uh, before I get to Super Bowl, tribute to Kobe Bryant and the families last night. A tearjerker, to say the least. Uh, it's still a tragedy, a shock. And I know a lot of people talk about the Kobe and Gianna, but, you know, don't forget other families were changed because of this. You know, let's... You know, so for me, uh, 24 seconds silent for Kobe Bryant, for Gianna, and for the other victims of the plane crash. And then I'll talk about the Super Bowl, 24 seconds in their memory. Rest in peace, Mamba, Gianna, and the innocent victims uh, of the helicopter crash last week. But gotta move forward. Um, the last talk of the Super Bowl. This is I'm gonna. This is the last time I'm gonna talk about it. I haven't really gone in these last two weeks because you know I've already beaten down a dead horse. We already know what my interest is. I want the Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. I want Kyle Shanahan to feel the pain um, again of letting a city down and a team down who's in it, even hurt more for us because we had never won one. The Niners at least have had have rings in, in their trophy case. Uh, people don't seem to understand. Again, I keep trying to tell them that it's nothing personal, but they want to take it that way. That's all them. A lot of uh, Niner fans keep talking about, uh, why are you on? Uh, why are you so mad at Kyle Shanahan? He didn't even coach the team. He wasn't even the head coach. He controlled the offense. He put us in a situation to be up 28 to three, and he was the main factor in blowing it and blowing our, our Super Bowl championship. Reason being, I've said this a million damn times. I'm tired of repeating myself, but you know these people just want to trash talk and, and they want to be dumb and they they, they kind of like put on blinders to what I'm saying. So I'm gonna say it one more damn time. I know Devontae Freeman missed the block. I know Matt Ryan probably should have changed the damn call. I know Dan Quinn probably should have stepped in there. But the fact remains, with all that said and done, Matt Ryan made the play to Julio Jones at the 22. And on those three plays, should have been run, run, run. And then we could have run some time off the clock. Even if we missed the field goal, which would have sucked, it still would have been an eight-point lead, and then, in the, and then uh, Patriots would have had to go on down the field. They might have. Who knows? But we should have been put in that situation to where we would at least have had another, what, another minute or so, maybe run off the clock, shorten the time for Tom Brady, and either Brian made the field goal and we would have won it because it would have been too, it would have been way too, no way they could have pr probably come back from that or take our chances with an eight point lead and a minute something to go. So, so Kyle Shanahan screwed it up. Kyle Shanahan ultimately screwed the Super Bowl up for us. Niner fans still talk about the defense letdown. Are y'all do y'all not get what I'm what I've been trying to say? Do y'all not know football? If an offense is on the field, what three snaps the whole fourth quarter? How many times? Four or five times? Don't you think the defense is going to get tired? How's the defense going to make a stop when they're gassed? Thirty plays over the limit of what an average is. But you guys, because you guys make it seem like the Falcon defense was healthy and ready to go in the fourth quarter. No, Kyle Shanahan's stupid, arrogant play calling wore our defense out. We could not stop anybody. Nobody would have stopped the Patriots if they were put in that situation. You know, nobody. Any team would have ran down our throats. We couldn't stop them. We were exhausted. So let me go ahead. So I hope that sink ends now because I'm tired of repeating myself. 
you know. Now, as far as the game goes, kudos to both teams. Kansas City Chiefs, San Francisco 49ers. Chiefs hadn't been to the Super Bowl in 50 years since those first two against the Packers. Way back when, Super Bowl one and two. Andy Reid's trying to exercise so many playoff demons. Five NFC Championship games straight, I believe, and no Super Bowl wins. One Super Bowl appearance, that was because they beat us. I mean, Atlanta's been on the tail end of so many of these things, man. But he's the reason why I want Kansas City to win. I have nothing to, like, bad to say about him. He's a great head coach. It's too bad that winning championships is ultimately what defines you, and this would be great for him to finally win one. Pat Mahomes, great quarterback now and has many years to come, God willing, and he stays healthy. Travis Kelsey, the tight end. They got a great receiving core. Uh, you know, Tyreek Hill and the other guy. Defense, eh. But this team can score points. San Francisco 49ers. A lot of loyal fans on YouTube that I know. A lot of loyal fans, period. Great team. NFC champions. Great defense. Kyle Shanahan, with all my disdain for him, is a great play caller. He's got that offense moving. You know, so, I mean, he's put himself in a situation after a couple years to exercise those demons. But it would be insulting to me and the loyal Falcon fans if Kyle Shanahan won. That's just my own personal opinion. Um, again, somebody also said if we would have won the Super Bowl, uh, we would have we wouldn't care if Kyle Shanahan lost. Duh, because he he wouldn't have choked our Super Bowl. Some things y'all people say are dumb. The way that he lost our Super Bowl, of course, I don't want him to win. If he did win the Super Bowl, of course I'd be happy for him. What is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with some of y'all's opinions? So I, I swear some of y'all don't think when it comes out of your mouth. I really, I'm serious. But Kyle Shanahan and the Niners deserve to be where they're at. They had a great playoff, great season, definitely. But ultimately, I feel the Chiefs are going to win this game, number one, because I believe Andy Reid is due. I believe Pat Mahomes and the Chiefs are going to outscore the Niners. You know, I don't think the Niners offense, Jimmy G, can keep up with Kansas City. I don't. The Niners' defense has to show up. If the Niners' defense does not show up or has any kind of moments, a couple series where they don't make stops, Chiefs are going to win this game. If the Chiefs don't capitalize on any opportunity and the Niners' defense puts a lot of pressure on Mahomes, the, the Niners are going to win the Super Bowl. The Niners win the Super Bowl because of their defense, not because of Jimmy G. The Chiefs will win it because of their offense. That's just how I see it, and I pick the Chiefs to win, score, Chiefs 34, Niners 24, 38, 28, something like that. Um, and then I'll be back on here. I've already told you. You guys already know. I've been saying it all year. And the teams that have already lost in the playoffs have felt my wrath. If the Niners do win, I'll congratulate you. And I'll be miserable because of it. I will. I will hate it. I will hate it. But there's no disputing winning a Super Bowl. I will hate seeing Kyle Shanahan prance around the field. Oh, and, and I'm definitely glad that... He was able to sleep well and get up the next day and move on. What an insult comment. And then Jimmy G and Kyle Shanahan laughing at the 28-3 choke. Really? Okay, I don't see anything funny about blowing a Super Bowl, a team Super Bowl that we worked so hard to get to. And because of your arrogant ass, cost us the Super Bowl championship. But I'm glad you were able to move on, Kyle Shanahan. And I hope that you can move on from this Super Bowl loss coming up. Because I'm definitely 100% rooting. I'm a Chiefs fan through and through on Sunday, as you've seen. I, I pray to God that it happens. And I hope it's a beatdown, to be honest. Either a beatdown or the Chiefs rip it right out of your chest at the end, like the Falcons did. That's what I hope. Or like the like Kyle Shanahan, you allowed the, the Patriots to do to us with your play calling. That's just how I see it. So, good luck to both teams. Despite my hatred, I cannot dispute being you guys being in a champion Super Bowl. Both the all teams are deserving, and both the all teams are highly capable. Fan bases, I know more 49er fans than, than Chiefs. I'll do the shouts after the Super Bowl, win or lose. But it's going to be a great Super Bowl, and uh, I picked the Chiefs to win. May the best team win. But we all know who I want. But I, I mean it. May the best team win. It's a, you don't get this opportunity a lot. And as you, we know, Niner fans, y'all haven't won in five damn years. 
had a winning had a, had, a, had a winning record of relevant. It's the first time in five six years. So so y'all definitely don't know it. I know it, but history says y'all know it. And if the Niner fans uh, Niners win, I'll be happy for the guys who have come up recently, who are who have seen this team and who haven't who didn't experience a Super Bowl. Y'all win a bomb. A couple old schoolers. This feeling will be n nothing that y'all haven't experienced. Chiefs fans, I know y'all dying for it. I know y'all dying for it. So we'll see what happens. I'm not talking about it anymore. Uh, I got a busy weekend, uh, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But go Chiefs, without a doubt. Go Kansas City Chiefs. Tomahawk chop, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Later, y'all.